At approximately or just after 1.30 this afternoon, the Grand Rapids Police Department executed a pre-planned search warrant. Uh, the search warrant was for a 35-year-old male wanted on several felony warrants for drug-related and gun-related charges. Um, unfortunately, uh, that particular subject uh, barricaded himself into the home, uh, which brought out a number of resources, including the special response team, crisis negotiators, along with some others, uh, major case team, uh, K-9, uh, et cetera. Uh, so right now, we're in the process of attempting to establish communications with that individual, uh, but so far, we have not been able to. Our goal here is to make sure that we uh, get him out safe, safely and peacefully. Why is the entire block taped off this time? Practice like the street? The sure. Due to the, the charges. Um, that we do have uh, several felony warrants, uh, eight, eight felony warrants, half for uh, gun-related charges, and un, uh, the other half is for drug-related charges. Because of those gun-related charges, we have blocked off this street for safety purposes. Is that his home that he's barricaded himself in, or is it a friend's, family, relative, or do you not know? I do not know for sure if this is where he resides. I just know that he has uh, been seen here. Is anyone else in the home or just him? At this point, we have, I have no reason to believe that there's anyone else other than uh, our 35-year-old male inside. What is a surround and call out warrant? Basically, this is a felony. Uh, we have a fel felony warrant and so surround and call out is our procedure. So basically, we, we surround the house and then we ask uh, and, and give commands like you're hearing in the background to come out. That is surround and call out. Do they usually end up with a barricade subject or sometimes they also they do come out? Depends. Most of the time, uh, most of the time they just come out so we don't have this kind of reaction to it. Um, but in this particular case that individual has refused to respond to us which brings about this reaction that you see before you. Are you able to disclose is this um, subject tied into the triple homicides at all that happened a few months ago? The felony warrant, the warrants are not related to a homicide whatsoever. They went in the house a few minutes ago. Do you know if they got a chance to search much of the place? Right now, we have not been able to go deep into the house. Um, so no, we have not had a chance to, to search just yet. So this is very much still in progress uh, as I'm speaking to you, but I realize you, you've got a six o'clock coming up. So can't I wanted give to give out, you a quick brief. Can't give out his name on the record yet? No, sir. Uh, at this point, I'm not gonna release the name, um, but he is a 35 year old male wanted for several felony and drug related charges. Is he from Grand Rapids? I do not know his origin. What are the next steps as far as, you know, is it just wait until anything happens on his end or do you guys do something? Uh, we have uh, several options uh, available. Uh, we're working through those options and um, I'm, right now I'm coordinating with uh, several different teams to determine exactly which options would be the best. So that is very much in progress message for the neighbors and community when this is going on? Yes, at this point, uh, the way that we have the, the roadway shut down, uh, anyone who resides in the area, we are requesting that they you know, barricade or, you know, um, hold themselves inside the home, inside the home uh, in a safe position until we get this resolved. And so you have not had to evacuate any adjacent homes? No, we have asked uh, area residents through the bullhorn to contact us if they wanted to be evacuated. And so far, everyone has uh, wanted to just kind of hold in place for now. Captain, we're live at the five right now. Can you just give a brief recap of what's going on? I sure can. So just after 1.30 this afternoon, the Grand Rapids Police Department uh, executed a pre-planned search warrant for a 35-year-old male. That 35-year-old male was, is wanted for several different felony charges, um, including weapon-related charges and uh, uh, drug-related charges. At this point, um, that particular individual has refused to, to comply or contact or come out, so to speak, to speak with us. Uh, so right now, we have not had a chance to develop dialogue. 
Our goal is to make sure that this individual, we bring him out safely. We do not want anyone hurt here today. And you guys have not made contact with him yet? So as of right now, we have not had contact with him. Okay, Anything else questions? You share? Nope, right now, uh, we just thank the, the public for allowing us to uh, conduct our work. Um, I realize the streets closed down, but we are working to uh, resolve this in a quick manner, but also a very peaceful manner. So sometimes that takes a little time, and that's what we're working with right now. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you.